Hi, and welcome to another review here at Total Toy Recon. A little bit different. Now, if you've been following us on Instagram or Facebook uh, recently, uh, due to being trapped inside, we've started Bob's Basement Blog, which is I Am Bob, and it's my basement blog about items that I have down in my basement. Yeah, I really thought a lot about the title, but the Bob and the basement and the blog, that all kind of worked together. So anyway, uh, going through boxes and I'm figuring out what I have, sorting out different things, finding things I forgot I had, and I came across this vintage collection, Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan. Now, I'm going to hold it up here. It's a very It was a sad moment on the uh, show, but as you can see, it is a little warped. Now, I thought about just flattening it out putting some books around it, uh, you know, on it, flattening it out. But maybe here would have been okay, but this crease, you can see it's like a wave. McGregor's ear's a little ripped. Something was definitely uh, attached to it. So I uh, decided that we're going to open this one up and see how this figure is. Now I got this figure um, when it came out. So that was, God, I don't even know, 2010, 2010 Lucasfilm right there so in this figure and i wish they still did this as much um this wave had the super battle droid which i would have liked to seen how good he actually was in relation to the first battle droid anakin undercover kit fisto from attack of the clones as well attack of the clones uh mace windu that looks like a really good mace windu actually and that Django fett looks stellar now this was neat that they actually put uh, uh an original attack of the clones obi-wan figure on the back of the pack they were celebrating the saga 2002 to 2004 it would have been nice to have part of this bar you probably had to get anakin and then maybe even um ahmad best and anthony daniels who were the two of the aliens uh humanoid looking aliens that were in in the uh in that scene so um real quick let's talk about the vintage cards from day one when they released uh star wars figures back in 1995 i wish that every figure would have just kept going with this package we have I mean, we have this Attack of the Clones look. We have the border. No, ever notice that Kylo Ren's helmet is very reminiscent of the border? We've got the logo. We've got this color scheme, the blue, the blue here. It says Kenner. It doesn't say Hasbro on the front. Now, it does say Hasbro here on the back. Nice little swoosh. The vintage collection right there. See, it doesn't even say that here. It says it here on the back. And they were all numbered. This was Vintage Collection 31. Now, got these out of storage. Another thing that I found were when I was at Comic-Con... Um, when were these? I guess this was 2010 as well. I guess these were 2010. I'm looking for the uh, Lucasfilm copyright distribution. 2010. So these were 20, uh, 2010 as, as well. Um, if you went to the Hasbro booth every day, they were handing out just cards. So here I even have... Well, this one has a little ding on it. Um, they're even unpunched. Vader's punch those you can see and we have Luke so I have a couple of these floating around I gave these I mean they're in good they're in nice shape nice to display um I gave some to some friends um this was neat because there was never I, I can honestly remember if Han if this was the picture that they used for Han I think it was the Vader was from Star Wars not from Empire Strikes Back and then of course we had this really odd looking photo of Luke it's as if they zoomed in because they couldn't get a right picture of him um, so this is neat and, and they've continued doing this to the point where they've actually had to Photoshop, um, some characters that never had a, a figure released or they didn't have a good picture. Um, it's fun to see these different lines and this was all empire. So we have a lot of the same, oh, we have some different figures here. So here we have the cloud card, Dengar. I know I have Dengar, Bespin Luke, Hoth Leia, C-3PO. Um, here we have... Now, they never made this figure, per se, with the jacket and the welding goggles. I do have that one. Cloud car. And then over here, we have Vader. Makes it a little bit different. But VC4, 8, and 3. And then this was VC31. So just within that short amount of time, they were releasing more and more figures. So this was neat, too, because you saw the vintage figure on the back. So obviously, now that answers my question, this was the first uh, issue of this Han Solo with the jacket, um, as you can see here, with the jacket and the welding goggles and all that. So let's get to, I've already talked for four minutes, let's get to Obi-Wan. Now, the package is damaged. Always a nice way to buy figures. So when this happens, it doesn't hurt as much. Oh, it doesn't hurt as much. God, it's painful. Um, so we'll get rid of the card. I'll probably just throw it out because it's in such bad shape. Point for opening this, and this is interesting. Plastic coffin here with a mold. 
Nice. I used to keep these. used to use them as little boats for the characters when I was a kid. Obi-Wan is not really held in there with any rubber bands or anything. So if we get a do a good likeness. Now remember, this was 2010. So this figure is 10 years old. Not bad. Not the photo real technology that we have now. But still, a fairly decent figure. And we do have the, the Ladies Bic uh, uh, Razor uh, at Communicator. It was That's what it was in Episode 1. It was a Ladies Razor. So, let's peel the tape back off. Now look at that. Does that not say, please lose me in the carpet, vacuum me up? So we'll put that way over there and we'll zoom back out here. Let's get him out of here. Now, I uh, probably around this time when I stopped buying these and the Black Series waves started coming out, I got heavily into the Black Series. I really liked it. And one of the, one of my big... Uh, I'd like to say one of my... Oh, there's tape here, too. One of my big things about the Black Series Wave... And look at that. It's even wedged in there so it can't pop out. About the Black Series Wave was... Um, my hands are bigger now as an adult. And I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the uh, the little hands of a little kid anymore. So I want a bigger figure. So a Black Series figure at six inches looks like probably the right proportion to when I was a kid. Um, it wasn't until... Recently, until Attack, uh, until I, I'm sorry, until uh, the Rise of Skywalker, that actually got back into the vintage line again because the vehicles were they were starting to make more vehicles. We were getting a lot of really cool figures, and I thought, you know what, it's probably time to go back and do the vintage collection again. So let's do a standard pose here, and I'm going to adjust my camera. So please bear with me. And he's pretty pretty good on his own already. So there's Obi-Wan. Now, this is the problem. Everybody wants cloth capes. And when you have cloth capes, this is kind of what you get. You get almost too much. So if you hold him this way, eh, you know, does he look like he's in the Dune Sea walking towards you? Yeah, this, this may be a better cloak for, like, Obi-Wan the Hermit. But this is Attack of the Clones. Let's take it off, see what it looks like underneath. And we have this cloak we can use it to other figures if we want. Um, oh, look at those loose strings. Well, oh, this would have been in there forever. Uh, oh, this is nice. So, uh, again, didn't wouldn't have known this if I wouldn't have opened it, but there is another cloth little bottom to Obi-Wan's uh, Obi -Wan shirt here. That's nice. Figures are, it feels like, I don't want to break him, but it feels like he's, the joints are very odd. It doesn't, oh yeah, he's giving me a little give, but it's, this is the kind of figure I think that you would definitely have to use a stand for. So the neck is good. We got the got the mullet hair, the Jedi mullet, as McGregor once called it. And then, if I'm noticing this correctly, this could be for the lightsaber here, or this could be for the walkie-talkie. And I think it's for the lightsaber, but I don't see any kind of button or nozzle, and that is attached, so that's not coming out. So this must be for that, but again, I don't see anything that would... Let's try this. Nope, not feeling it. How about here? Nope, again, not feeling it. So I have no nozzle, no anything that actually connects here. And I'm sorry, this is a 10-year-old toy, and if this has long been pointed out by collectors, I'm just discovering this now, but there's nothing here to hold the lightsaber. It should go right there. So, does the walkie-talkie actually, the walkie-talkie, does his communicator device actually fit in his hand? It seems like it, he would be, seems like it maybe go in this hand. So that's not bad. And then, you know, we just give him, Outside of the general Kenobi look, let's zoom in here. And so I think this is the kind of figure you're definitely going to need a stand for. It's just the legs are the legs almost feel like they're backwards because the knee is such a straightforward knee, but the posability is ugh. So. Yeah, it's just, 
This is this is a figure that it's got to be in a stand. It's like, what is this pose? Actually, that's not too bad. I'd get the walkie-talkie out of his hand. Okay, all right. Oh, and I, I do have a slight curve at the back of this. So that's not too bad. All right, all right, take it back. Take it back, Hasbro. So not looking that bad. It took a little while to finesse him into a good pose, but I think it's a solid... It's so a solid likeness, solid figure for being 10 years old. Now, bring her into the shot here. This is the this is the vintage collection figure that really turned me around to the whole line um, and going back and trying to pick some up, and that's Zori Bliss. I think it's a fantastic figure, one of the best female figures that I have in my collection, and she's she's not even a year old yet. Um, actually, she's, pre she's pretty... No, no, I got her in September. So, not a bad figure. Obi-Wan went down again. Um, definitely would need a stand for him. Uh, Zori's pretty good on her own. But it's just getting that right balance to Obi-Wan to get him to stand. So, let's get these out of shot here. So, all in all, not a bad figure. Ten years, damage package, good reason to open him. Um, he looks solid there next to Zori Bliss. Um, let's show him from this, so this angle. So, you can kind of see that his foot, this foot here... Pull it back. This foot here is just barely touching the ground where all the weight is balanced here. Um, the mullet's nice. Lightsaber is good. I mean, his arms are great for posing. And you almost wish that he had a, a second set of hands, that he had the 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 uh, the two finger point um, that he had in the in the third movie. Um, it would just add that extra element to it, but. It's just the knees are in such, like, he's just, there I am, I'm standing. I mean, look at those feet. That's just weird. It's a weird pose. It doesn't feel natural. So, that's my review of this Bob from Total Toy Recon. Thanks for checking out this retro review of the Vintage Collection Obi-Wan. Um, please, tune into our channel. Um, we're doing more reviews. We've got some new stuff from Diamond Select coming. And we are doing the blog every day, Monday through Friday. Look for those all collected on YouTube and Facebook. Have a good evening.